Greetings and salutations, dear viewers. Get ready for some fantastic content. Thank you for joining us today as we dive into Jelica Belovi Bernadzikowska. Jelica Belovi Bernadzikowska, 25 February 1870, 30 June 1946, was a Croatian ethnographer, journalist, writer, and feminist. She wrote literary works for children and educational discussions. As a journalist, wrote theatre and music criticism, and published works on handicrafts and folk costumes. She wrote for and was the editor of the first Serbian women's magazine. She wrote under multiple pseudonyms, including Ljuba T. Dani, Hel, Jelica, Jel, Jasna, and Jelica, and young lady Anna. Brace yourselves for the next chapter, where we'll be dissecting biography. Jelica Belovi was born on 25 February 1870 in Osijek, Austria-Hungary to Serbian father Josip Belovi and German mother Katanina Fragna. From childhood, she learned Croatian, French, German and Italian from her parents, who were both teachers. When her father died, she was five years old and her mother tutored to provide for the family. Belovi attended primary school in Osijek and then studied at a secondary school in Yokovo. She also studied at the Institute of Joseph Jurostras Mayer before attending the Convent of Mercy School, where she first began to study and collect handicrafts. Belovi went on to complete her education at the Teacher Training College of Mercy in Zagreb and at the College of Education in Vienna and Paris. In 1891, after her higher studies, she began teaching in Zagreb. Now, let's delve into the intricacies of career and explore its various aspects. For two years, Belovi taught in Ruma and Osijek and began writing pedagogical essays. Her writing caught the attention of Regional Secretary for Education, who offered her teaching position in Bosnia-Herzegovina in 1893. Though technically a part of the Ottoman Empire, the area had become an occupied territory of the Austro-Hungarian Empire with the signing of the Treaty of Berlin in 1878. Belovi began teaching at the girls' school in Mostar, where she met Janko Bernadzikowski, a Polish civil servant. They married in February 1896 and she subsequently had two children, Vladimir and Jasna. Bernard Dikowski was appointed to a position in Sarajevo and the couple relocated. Belovi Bernard Zikowska taught at the girls' school in Sarajevo, but was transferred in 1898 to the girls' gymnasium in Bonja Luka when she refused the advances of her mentor. She became an administrator of the school, but increasingly had differences of opinion with her superiors, as she drifted away from their pro-Austrian policies and developed an empathy for the Serbs she was living among and teaching. She learned to write in the Cyrillic script and published in Serbian magazines. In 1900, Belovi Bernadzikowska was dismissed from her teaching post. She continued to write, and travelled frequently to collect folk tales and craft work. During this period, she published works in Serbian such as Wild Flowers, Sarajevo 1899, Talk of Flowers, 1901 and Croatian Folk Embroideries, 1906. Having experience in equality, she was also keenly interested in improving the cultural and social standing of women. She wrote numerous articles about the changing realities for women and published such pieces as Ina Budunosti Women of the Future and Modern in Modern Women Boats which appeared in the 1899 edition of the journal Zora Dawn. Between 1904 and 1913, she worked with Friedrich Salomon Krauss, using the pseudonym Juba T. Dani, in his noted yearbooks Anthropophyte which collected information on the social and sexual lives of rural southern Slavs. She was said to be very outspoken and when she was banned from publishing under one name, Belovi Bernadzikowski used another. Among the names she is known to have published under are Hel, Jelica, Jel, Jasna, and Jelica, Young Lady Anna, Ljuba Tidani and Jasna Belovi. She spoke nine languages and though most of her works were published in Serbian, she also published in German. In 1907, she was invited by the provincial government of Zobrod to assist them with their ethnographic collections for the National Museum of Art and Trade. 
Belovi Bernard Zakowska created a catalogue of textiles for the Museum of Arts and Crafts in Zagreb and an ethnographic catalogue for the Sperka Commerce Crafts Museum in Zagreb. She published articles about textiles and handicrafts in many journals throughout Europe, including Anthropophyta, Journal of the Gipti Law Society, Revue de Du Mondes, and other learned publications. She also exhibited embroidery and folk costumes in at venues in Berlin, Dresden, Munich, Paris and Vienna, collaborating with other experts. In 1910 Belovi Bernard Zakowski exhibited at the Prague exhibition of Serb women with a display of. At the meeting, she was inspired to create a women's almanac. The journal Sukinia Serbian Woman published in Sarajevo, was the first almanac written by Serb women for Serb women. Founded in 1913, Belovi Bernad Zakowska edited the volume and wrote serialized articles for it. When the First World War broke out in 1914, Belovi Bernad Zakowska left Sarajevo, returning to Osijek, where she remained until 1917. Around the same time, her marriage fell apart due to infidelity and syphilis, leading her to increase her feminist activity. She returned to Sarajevo in 1918 and became the editor of the newspaper People's Power. Later that year, she was hired to teach at the co-ed school in Novi Sad, which that same year became part of the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes. She taught in Novi Sad until her retirement in 1936. Though her publishing efforts slowed, during her lifetime, Belovi Bernadzikovska published over 40 manuscripts and books. She died on 30 June 1946 in Novi Sad, Serbia. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from my channel.